Alright, so we have uh, finally decided we're going to do the bentonite in the pond. So I got all this red clay we've got stockpiled that I'm going to start throwing around out here and getting it spread. We're going to put in a six inch layer of clay to line the bottom. And then tomorrow we got three tractor trailer loads of bentonite coming. And we're going to mix that into it and that should create a seal and that should keep any water from leaking through the bottom and the sides of the pond. We'll get started by laying this clay back and then I'll come in here with a dozer and spread it out. So after messing around about for a few hours here I got about half the dirt spread and I laid it back with the excavator and then took the dozer and spread it out trying to put in a six inch layer. We'll get over here tomorrow have two people and finish spreading that clay out there and get the rest of it covered and, and uh, so get everything spread in and then we'll spread out our bentonite get it mixed in and drag it in so here's all our bentonite delivered three tractor trailer loads I didn't get any video unloading it there we're kind of busy but that is it was 32,000 pounds of truckload, so that's pushing almost, let's see, that would be 96,000 pounds of bentonite. I think it's somewhere around about $20,000 worth. But this is what we're going to be, it was delivered from Texas. They left on Friday and it is Wednesday now. They said they have never been to a more remote place than where this come from. But it's a granular bentonite when it gets wet. I wish there was a puddle. I'll show it to you. It swells up like three times its size and creates a gel layer that water will not go through. I'll take some down there to a uh, mud puddle and show you what it does. But we got it all stacked up. I thought they made a tarp or plastic this size, but they don't. The tarp was like 200 bucks, so 40 by 100. And they didn't make any sizes smaller than that to cover it, so we're going to bought a roll of uh, I think it's an 8 millimeter plastic 20 by 100 so we got to split this in half and run it on down the hill there so we can cover it because it's too wet now to put it out the pond bottom's too muddy and this stuff will just start swelling up before we get it raked and mixed all in and it'll just be a nightmare so he's going to get on the skid steer and move some of this out of the way and we'll get it covered up with plastic so it doesn't get wet and it'll be dry from when we need it so we got the bottom all lined with the red clay. We're gonna let this dry out. Like I say, it's still rained a good little amount. That piles to finish filling in the dam when we're ready. And they left that good clay for that. So we went in here and put about a about a six inch layer of clay, and then we'll mix the bentonite in with that. And that's what'll seal this bottom off. So I got a handful of this bentonite. I'm gonna come down here. I think there's a a little bit of a mud hole right here, yeah. And kind of show you what this stuff does if I can get down here without getting too muddy. So hopefully there's not a snake in here. So that's that. You let it get wet. And it'll just start turning to a, a mush. It takes it a little while to swell up. But what it'll do is we put it in an inch thick and mix it in with the dirt. See how it gets wet? It kind of molds together. Well, that'll keep the water. Water won't go through it. And it'll seal this pond bottom off. It's very, very slimy. And this stuff is just a natural, uh, I guess you could say, element. They dig it straight out of the ground and screen it. So, I mean, you can turn this into a, a ball right here, and then when it dries out, you can break it back up, and uh, it'll turn right back to a powder there if you break it up enough. But see how it's getting all slimy? So that, that layer of slime is what's going to keep the water in this pond. Pretty neat stuff. If you fill up a bottle with this stuff, if those bags got wet, as much as this stuff swells up, it'll probably um, explode all those bags. 
and we'd have a god awful mess. So I'm gonna finish washing this off my hands and uh, we'll get all that uh, uh, bent night covered. Can I tell you how much bent night that is now? We only had one casualty, had a hole in it. I put one in that top bag a little bit forward out. Not the end of the world for 45 ton bags. 45 bags, 2,000 pounds a piece. Give or take a little bit. I actually give some because it totals about 96,000 pounds. A lot of bent night. And I'll cover it up till we get back. So bentonite spreading is going decent now. That's bag number seven of 45. Um, I'm kinda, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I slice a hole in the bottom, a small one, and then it slowly starts tearing open and getting bigger and bigger as it pours out. I'm just taking the skid steer and uh, holding them up and driving around and then we'll come in here. It's kinda hard to judge on how, how uh, thick to put it, so I'm putting it kinda thin and uh, we'll get the whole bottom covered with all the uh, stuff that way and kind of judge how much more I need to spread out and we'll come in here and back blade it in and then we'll start rake, raking it in that way it gets it nice and even. So I'm going to show you uh, my technique to putting this out because there's really no good way to do this. I don't know if you can call that the best way in the world, but it, uh, it works for me. Well, I got 38 more bags to go. No joy.
like five or six more bags of bentonite left. Pretty much all of the bottom covered. I put the root rake on the dozer and we'll start running through that and uh, mixing it in. And we'll uh, roll it in when we get done, seal it off. Breaking in actually pretty good, other than that strip in the center where it's wet. Getting it all raked in and a little more on the edge, and then down there I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a few more passes and get on the roller because it's gonna take a long time to roll this in. I'll have to stay out the center where it's wet, but I'm gonna get all these edges and everything and uh, get it mixed in and then roll it in. And here it is mixed and rolled in the best you're going to roll in dry dirt over top of mud. For what it's worth it should pack it down and kind of help seal that bottom better so we just need a lot of rain now to let it fill up. Hopefully we'll have a nice little pond whenever we get some water in it. <laughs> 